I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this one. It's been a long time. In fact, just today when I was at the grocery store, I was thinking, you know what? Today's the day. Today is the day. That's right. Let me get this gum out of my mouth because I'm trying to get all the, the uh, morning stuff out of my mouth. Let's, yeah. Maybe we put a trash can back there later. I am super pumped up, excited. Baby shark, doo -doo 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 -doo, baby shark, doo -doo 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 -doo. To do this uh, challenge that you are about to witness. That's right, really not much of a challenge. But you know, I figured a lot of you millenniums out there didn't get to be a part of something that was exciting back in the day. It was somewhere in the uh, 1980s. There was this big thing where it was Coke versus Pepsi. And even my friends were into it. It was innocent fun. Half of my friends were like, no, I'm Team Coke. My other friends said, no, I'm half, you know, Team Pepsi. So I thought, you know what? Since times are changing, I would go ahead and bring back that Coke versus Pepsi taste challenge. Coca-Cola on one side, Pepsi on the other. That's right. Now, I was going to try to find it in cans because I figured it might fit better on the frame. But you know what? Uh, this works just fine. And then over here, I have... A uh, brandy snifter for the Coke and a brandy snifter for the Pepsi. Now the reason why I've chosen this because I thought it would look kind of sexy and all that. Let's get right to it. Now before I sip into both of these beverages here, I want to taste a little bit of my purified, that's right, cord hydration water. Get you some today. Before I uh, start taking a test here, let's do a little bit of a history background on these tasty beverages. All right, Coca-Cola was actually the first one out of the two. It was a guy named uh, Christopher Coca-Cola. He was somewhere uh, located outside of Zeni, Ohio, and he was bored of drinking water all the time because back in the day, that's all they had was water and tea and coffee and <laughs> liquor and stuff. And his dad was really hard on him. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. <laughs> Michael. So one day when he was out in the field, you know, you know, being Christopher or Chris, I think he went by Christopher. Uh, he decided, you know, I'm gonna try something different. Well, there was these uh, bad kids down the street. They're always getting in trouble with this stuff called cocaine. Well, he, I don't know, somehow got a hold of that stuff and was trying to hide it real quick because his dad was coming in the house and he actually throws some of this cocaine in this water along with these cocoa beans and all. And voila. There became Coca-Cola. Well, yeah, believe it or not, back in the day, there was actually cocaine in the Coca-Cola. Well, Christopher got in trouble, and some other kid named Pete, Pete Pepsi, he was always, you know, jealous of Christopher and all that. So he was on the other, raised on the, on the different side. Yeah, he was on the other side of the tracks, and he decided to make his own version of it that was more legal. So there you go. There's the history of Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Obviously, as you had witnessed, as I was telling these horrific and amazing historical factual, factual. stories, uh, you had a chance to see me pour the Coke in this and the Pepsi in that. There's no ice cubes because these glasses are sensitive. And then I got to think, ooh, some of the viewers might think that some of the ice cubes may be trick ice cubes and it may favor one of the beverages or the other. So we're just gonna make it as simple as can be. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Okay, I really can't see anything right now because my eyes are closed as well. Oh, and to make it more millennial, okay? Oh, I should have put this on first because now I can't see what I'm doing. I am going to also put on, this is, I hope this isn't upside down because there is a picture on there. Hold on a second, let me peek. I should, you know what, cut, let's try this again. I am going to cover not only my eyes, but my face as well for the millennials out there that are so sensitive. So here we go, let's put this on first for you millennials. And to prove to you that I'm not cheating because I really can't see. I know you're thinking, how can you tie the knot if you can't see? I'm gifted folks, just trust me on this. Okay. Now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna mix match the sodas so I won't be able to tell 
which one is which, okay? I'm mixing them up completely, okay? I think you guys get the details of how well I'm mixing them. I can't see and I can't taste it right now because I got the face mask on for the millennials. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set these over here, all right? So I can't see them because I'm obviously gonna have to remove this now so I could, you know, I don't wanna make a mess, okay? So let me untie my knot. Sorry, it was really bright after I took that off. Now, I'm gonna test which one is which and tell you which one I prefer out of the two. Nothing biased about this, okay? Because this is how they did it back in the days with less masks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it with them. Here, I'll do it like this, like they have to do it in some restaurants. Lift your face, yes. Mm, I can smell it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I recognize that. Oh, I recognize that. Tastes. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, something classic about that one. Tastes really good. Now I'm trying to not look over there too much because obviously, you know, there's the, the two beverages. I guess it's okay that I look at them because I knew they were there in the first. Hold on, let me get some of that delicious. Mm. Hold on, I gotta wash it down with some H2O. Get you some core hydration. Get you some. Now, let's try this right here. Let me, let me do the same, to be fair. I can smell it, even my nose. Let's do this, because that's just the right thing to do. I can smell it. This is gonna be a tough one. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It still has that that soda. They both have that amazing to You know, is it okay if I I got because I'm sorry. They both have that amazing soda flavor to it. Uh, they've they both taste like they've been around for a long time. Not these particular bottles, but like that flavor. You know, like it's been a part of our history for so many years. My guess, this is going to be the Coca Cola. And this is going to be the Pepsi. Video doesn't lie. You at home were able to tell if I'm right or wrong, okay? So in the comment section down below, I want you to tell me, was I right? Is this the Coca-Cola? And is this the Pepsi? In other words, the left, to your left, is the Pepsi. And then to the right, the Coca-Cola. Pepsi-Cola, Coca-Cola, what's in your wallet? Now, there's no favoritism here. I want to make that very clear, all right? They both had their refreshing feeling as I sipped them both down inside. In fact, if you don't mind, I'd like to have another taste. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You and I have been together for so long. Oh, and then we'll try this one. Hold on. Gotta do some core. Core hydration. It's perfectly balanced for the pH in you. Let's try this. Hold on. You know, I wouldn't turn it down, okay? I wouldn't turn it down, I really wouldn't. Especially if it was in a glass that was in a freezer, like a bottle, if, it was, if they were both in a freezer, they'd both taste delicious. Well, folks, here's my verdict, okay? I'm gonna say, I already told you, that I'm gonna say this is Coke and then this is Pepsi. What do I prefer that tastes better? Uh, this guy right here, I'm gonna go with the Coca-Cola. It's my favorite out of the two. The Pepsi, you know, I know a lot of people out there love their Pepsi and all that. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, but I gotta go with my Coca-Cola. So I, it looks like I'm Coca-Cola team. Like I said, I'm no biased opinions here. Being as fair and as being, you know, as even as possible. I put them, I, they're both in sexy glasses, okay? They're both in sexy glasses. You can't argue with that. I made sure for all the millennials out there that I had my mouth covered. That way I wasn't affecting any of the, the flavors out there, okay? I don't know how I could have done it like this. I would have tasted it, uh, would have tasted different on both of it. And as of course you see me blind myself as I was mixing the two around. 
So now that we have them both here, I'm going to say that was Pepsi and that was Coca-Cola. You guys see it with your own two eyes. Alrighty. Now that that's all been said and done, I should have told you this in the beginning of the video. Son of a... Folks, make sure you tune in next week when I will have a taste test of something that I've never tried before. It's actually from the fine folks from Coca-Cola where they're their energy drinks. And if I remember correctly, one is a Coca-Cola that is it's a dark and one that's a vanilla. And then I have one that's a cherry and more like a diet, which is a zero. I guess that's what they're calling it now because it's more, you know, millennial, politically correct. Too sensitive, can't say diet anymore. So make sure each week you, each week, no, each day. No, it's each. Each day next week, I'll be trying a different one. I figure because they're energy drinks, I only want to try one particular can at a time because who knows, if I try all four, I may have a heart attack. Oh, and another thing too, make sure you stay tuned to more of those amazing uh, food taste tests that I do in the future. You know, those ones that that are just now brand new to all of us out there. Does that make sense? No, you've never heard of it before until I am showing you here on this YouTube channel. Something like that. Yeah, I'm planning on going to uh, uh, Raising Cane sometime next week. One of uh, my regular viewers, Mr. Sam Hain, has requested that. Uh, I don't want to have junk food every day because look at me. I look like complete shit. So I have to eat, you know, some healthy foods uh, for the majority of the time. So yeah. Sam Hain, look forward to that Raising Cane uh, review. I don't know what I'm going to get. Chances are it'll be some dead animal flesh with some potatoes. Oh, can't say that. Chances are it'll be some fried chicken. Is that still okay to say? Oh, I can't say that either. All right, well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this amazing Coca-Cola and Pepsi uh, taste test challenge. And uh, you get to be the judge at home. Was I right or wrong? Because... Uh, there's no way I could have faked that one. There's there's no way. There's no foul language. In what? Dishes, gotta do my dishes. Gotta do my dishes tonight.